Hey there, it's you. You'll shoot your eye out. Uh, I've been asked by a few people about finishing HDPE slingshots, and uh, for me, I try and use, uh, I try and leave machined finished surfaces so that uh, you know you thickness play in the tops and bottoms, or you flush trim uh, the edges with like a, a router bit, and then you radius the corners. And if you can leave machined finishes, you know drill bits and stuff like that. You have very little sanding to do just on the knock down the very edges or the corners or whatever. But predominantly you're finished. There's not a lot of sanding. If you have to sand, then it's it's real involved process. Uh, here is here's one that I made that was a more organic shape, right? So I've carved this one out of a big chunk of HDPE. So we're gonna try and finish this slingshot. I've had it around a long time uh, because it's kind of a pain to, to go this route with HDPE. So let's uh, see what we can do. All right, we're getting ready to start sanding. I uh, just wanted to give you a brief kind of example of the difference in, uh, so this is the sanded one, give you a little closer up look. I've kind of roughed it out, coarsely ground it, compared to like this. Now this is a slingshot, you can see that this is the, uh, the machine surface left by my planer. See how shiny it is on the sides there, that's all router. All right, I got a scrap of, uh, what do I got here? Yeah, 150, and we're gonna get this uh, going over and see how, uh, see what we can do here. So you can see those marks right there. Let me see, right there, yeah. So you just kinda have to keep sanding until you get those down. sanded the whole surface with 150 it's taken a while and there's still some imperfections you can kind of see them in there but basically the whole thing's got a nice frosted look to it so what we're going to do next is heat gun a little drill master i think i paid 14 dollars for it at, maybe he got it on sale for eight bucks at uh harbor freight i'm going to show you what it looks like when you use a heat gun on it so you just pick a spot Surface there, and that'll start to melt, and then you can move it around. There it goes, and you just move that around. So you can see the difference something right there where the frosted and then it's back now that's going to be hot for a while so you got to try and find a spot that yeah something you can grab onto on the other end i'm going to switch over to this stuff I told you about, this kind of plasticky stuff, and here it is. It says it lasts 15 times longer. Wet dry. 320 grit, which I have some right here. So I'm just gonna take and just you know kind of submerge best you can. And that will help too after you heat gun it, putting it in some water will help uh, bring the temperature down to a, so you can handle it better. So we're going to sand this over real good with this and then go back to the heat gun, see what we think. So we'll catch up with you then. Okay, I've been sanding away here and I think we're going to go back to heat gun in this thing. So let's see what we get. I'm just going to dunk the whole thing in water, let it cool down. It 
So we'll go back to sanding that again. Yeah, see it's steaming. I don't know if you can see that, but it's steaming a bit because it was that hot. Okay, I'm not really getting anywhere with this uh, imperfection. It's right there and over here. So it's starting to bother me. So I'm gonna have to change the shape of this a little bit, take a little more material off of here. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll get back to you. All right, I guess we'll go back to 150. All right, let's try it again. All right, I'm gonna wet sand this and we'll see what we get. All right, so this is what I got after wet sand that with 320. I'm gonna heat it again. All right, here's a uh, kind of a look at the difference. This has just been, uh, I sanded it one time at 150 and then heated it up, sanded then I did it two more times at 320 and I'll probably do it, continue doing that. All right, here's, uh, here's where I'm gonna leave it. Uh, polished it at, you know, 150 several times, hit it with the heat gun Polished it at, uh, what was it, 320, wet dry, with that wet dry sandpaper. I really like that stuff, lasts a long time. Uh, and then went over it once with like 600 grit, wet dry. There's a couple of imperfections in this slingshot, so I'm not going to waste my time, you know, mirroring this out, you know, like getting a high, high polish on it. But you can see it's pretty shiny. Uh, so, you know, a little bit of time and some effort, you know, anybody could get a, uh, super slick looking slingshot. That's how I finish a, a, a slingshot that I didn't, you know, that I finished with sandpaper. There you go. Thanks for watching.